What is up guys, gals and minions, it is me Noir Proxy, and as you can see here we're playing some Batman Arkham Origins called Cold Heart, and it's kind of interesting, quite fun at the moment, I have to say. So we need to try and manually shut down this cryo freezy puff puff cloud stuff. How I do this, I'm not entirely sure. So to do with this little generator things, that was a really badass descent then. <laughs> Batman, stop showing off. We've got some missions to do. So, I don't know if I can jump in this because it seems rather dangerous. It might kill us and that would kind of suck. I don't really want to die. I mean, that means that Batman wouldn't be Batman because he'd be kind of a dead Batman. Okay, let's try this out. It seems I can survive. Awesome! I am one with the cold. Okay, so what do I do now? Just oh, oh you got to crypto sequence of thing image again. Okay, I can do that. Minions poning it through the power of technology. I need to disable those two power conduits to stop that reactor leak. Then I need to ventilate the room of cryo vapor. But, but how do I pull that off? Hmm, interesting. What if I go this way? It means it seems I can do something over here. Actually, wait a minute. No, it's so cold that's just refreezing that little wall. Hmm. Something about these. I need to do something. What if I go down into the vents? Okay, I could give that a go. Oh, wait a minute. Here, look. Ah. Minions, we may have found something. So if I shoot this... Is that done it? Okay, that's one of them. Let's get the last switch. We also need to try and use our cryo drill. When we get to do that, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, it seems that once we take down this cryo puff puff, they're gonna come in and basically pwn me <laughs> with bullets, which kind of sucks. So let's hack this shizzle and show them that we're pretty much bothersome. I like that when you're in this kind of like cryo puff puff cloudy stuff, that your actual suit glows, because obviously it's trying to ventilate you with heat and stuff. It's kind of awesome, I like that little attention to detail. I love all sorts of attention to detail, minions. Cryogenics, very easy word. No wonder these people keep breaking in. Oh, chisel. Minions, we might want to get the fudge out of here. Okay, quick, onto the rafters. There we go, we're safe, we're close. Right, they can't reactivate that, can they? I mean, could I reactivate on them and they get completely pwned? That'd be really awesome. Though that might actually kill them. Or maybe they'll just need to buy some mittens next time, I'm not entirely sure. If I hop over here quickly, quick, 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 quick. That means I might be able to do an inverted takedown and that'll be awesome. Oh, wait a minute! I can't do that yet. Get on the wire! Oh, no, it's because I didn't heat it up. Oh, wait a minute! Oh, it's a good thing I didn't! He can actually scan look. Ah. Might have a chance here, though, minions. Grab him! <laughs> so the dude's wearing goggles can actually check up into the little... Are they called rafters or the girdery things that you sit on? Like, or perches? I guess perch is a nice word. Wait, if I hop onto this one quickly... Can I get a double inverted? Yes, I can! Oh, minions are doing so well. It seems I'm more balsam at the stealth, which is not really a bad thing, but maybe I just need to practice. I think practicing might be a good thing. Right, so we got four dudes left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six dudes. Interesting. Okay, I can handle that. I'm not scared. Minions, please do this for me. Do I have to do this? Do I have to take these dudes down or can I just run away? I, I guess we could take them down. I don't have no problem with that. I could, I could pwn a few little fillers. Get some more practice in. Right, so here's this dude. Let's go for this guy next. And pwn. And there's another guy just over there, look. But, are they coming towards him? Is this a good chance? Ooh. Got him! Wait a minute! Minions, move quickly! <laughs> Into the shadows! That was close, I have to admit. Okay, so, we've got two dudes to take down now and then, that's basically it, I think. Nope, stand corrected, we've got another guy. Oh, fudge! Now that that guy's actually located one of his knocked out friends, are those dudes gonna come as well? Yeah. Okay, next thing to do maybe then is just deactivate their weapons. Okay, let's just see if we can pull them in the face. Just like, wait a minute! I took down your gun! What the fudge is that about? Yeah, 
this an Uber gun? I don't know, it's kind of weird. How many freaking dudes are there? Wait a minute! I'm sorry, where did all these guys come from? I thought there was only three dudes left. There were more than we thought? Damn it. How'd you lose them? How unusual! And I used the strip tree thing! I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> okay, never mind, never mind, how interesting. So there were more dudes than we thought there were. There were three guys, and that was it. How did I miss the other ones? Wait a minute. How the hell did he just disappear? There are three guys! And somehow they got all their guns back. How does that make any sense? Did they pick up their friends' guns? Maybe they picked up their friends' guns. Either way, it's really weird. Okay, I guess. We took down the armored dude, though. That's the only thing that matters. Right, so what I'm going to do now is see if I can take down both of these dudes at the same time. Oh, here we go. Double takedown! Oh, boom shakalaka! <laughs> Brought them together through the power of ponage. Right, now we've got one dude left, and that should be it, minions. Whew, a lot of work for one day. There we go. <laughs> Taste my shins! And then my face. Right, onwards to Mr. Freeze, minions. So... I guess we just go this away. Ooh, we've got a frozen cop to save too. I guess I could do that. Stroke him a little bit with my warm fingertips. Hi there, dude. I've come to save you once more. She is one of the original guys I saved. I've saved a lot of cops. Can't believe what I'm seeing. What? That I'm bat mech? <laughs> I am pretty bowsom. Okay, onwards we go. So do you think Mr. Freeze is through here, or do you think we have to save Penguin first? I mean, he is still frozen up, I guess. Maybe the cops are handling him now. I'm not entirely sure. Security room! Oh, wait a minute. Before we move onwards, got another cop here. Wow, means we are taking down these iced cops really, really quickly. Only six more to go. Pretty proud of myself. Pretty proud indeed. You all like to say the same thing as well, which is kind of weird. Well, it looks like you drove off the bat. Maybe this freeze guy is a better bet for us. You keep talking like that. I'm going to kick your ass so hard you'll be sitting down on your face. Hey, I'm just saying... Never hurts to keep our options open, you know? Right, so I've deactivated that guy's gun. So now what I should probably do is activate that. Are they... That's going to take down those two dudes, right? Let's have a find out. So it actually does AoE then. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, no, it's a ninja. Okay, taste it. Oh, my God, it's completely pwned that dude. That was awesome. And then... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so you can actually do special moves on those dudes? Well, you can counter finish them, I guess. I like how Batman just goes, yeah, <laughs> just in a day's work, I guess. Right, onwards we go. So, any frozen people to unfreeze? Doesn't look like it. What was if I mess with that? Doesn't that go with the fan? That's do the fan, right? I don't need to do that anymore. Okay, keep going. Wow, it seems Mr. Freeze has completely fudge freeze this place up. Evacuate this lab of cryo vapor before the lockdown protocol on this door is disengaged. I could do that, I guess. That was kind of easy. <laughs> right. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, before we go through that door, let's unfreeze this dude. I think we should do that. I mean, it is our job to save everyone we can. It's still really weird, though, because Batman could just leave these people. He doesn't have to save them. But the fact that you can actually just leave them, oh. it kind of contradicts Batman in a way, don't you think? Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Just me being Batmac. Okay, Batmac onwards. I'm really looking forward to this Mr. Freeze boss battle. What's it going to entail? I have no freaking clue. Mr. Freeze, are you, are you in here? I kind of want to pwn you. Weapons testing lab. There's more going on here than a simple accident. This security guard's skin has the same blue coloration as Freeze's. I should set up a crime scene. Ooh, detective mode engage! Oh, look, plants! As I said in the original videos, I'm thinking, potentially, possibly, that we might actually get a Poison Ivy origin, maybe. Not in this DLC, but maybe in the future. Very interesting look. Okay, let's try and find some evidence. So let's check the cop then, I guess. Scan his shoulder blades, I guess. Maybe he wants a massage, I don't know. Are you okay? Data analysis indicates that he died from heat stroke, but the control room doesn't show signs of overheating. So maybe the heat built up inside him, and like the ice kind of insulated it? Maybe that's how it works. I don't know. Oh dear. Kind of grim. Me, he was a zombie. An ice zombie. There you go. Me, he's figured it out already. I'm better detective than Batman. This is some kind of crystallized chemical residue. Traces lead back into the lab. Right, so we guess we're going to the lab then. But what about these plants? Don't you think it's really interesting? 
I wonder if there's some kind of Easter egg or something, like some kind of hint towards Poison Ivy here. I mean, plants? I mean, there was also this whole thing with Mr. Freeze and Poison Ivy working together in some points. So maybe, maybe that is something to do with that. I don't know, I don't know what means. We'll just move on with this. We need to worry about Mr. Freeze. I mean, Mr. Freeze is awesome. Personally, Mr. Freeze is way more cool than Poison Ivy for me. Oh, look, a suit. Though not some kind of special suit, I don't think. Okay, moving onwards. Let's just anti-freeze these things. I'll be really cool at, like, just taking off the frost on Carl's windscreens, don't you think? I think I'll be pretty balsam at that. Oh, wait, we've got another frozen dude here. Can I unfreeze him, or is he too freezed? He looks pretty buggered. Okay, never mind. <laughs> he hates as he's deceased. Oh, well, he's kind of screwed then. Oh, wait, look! Cry coolant. What is this? Okay, can I pick this up? It doesn't look like I can pick it up. Can, I must be able to do something with it. Hmm. What does it actually say? Super... Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Batman, calm down a second. This says... Super... Batman, what does it say? It's, it says super coolant developed by Victor Freeze to prevent cryo drill from overheating. Right, so am I doing that just yet? Doesn't look like it, so we should probably Trail follow the trails then. Here. I should scan for more evidence. <sighs> I was just looking at the... Okay, it's not the cryo freeze thing then. Let's have a little peek at these little droplets. What happened here? Two men struggled. One of them ran out of the lab. That would be the dead security guard I found. So he betrayed his friend? That's not very nice. How interesting. Okay, keep scanning, keep scanning. Oh wait, what about these? Are these gunshots? Maybe try to shoot the glass. Nope, they're just hand fingerprints. These palm prints are a match for Victor Freeze. He must have watched the security guard die. Wait a second. So this is actually Mr. Freeze we're looking at. This wasn't recent. Ah. But that means that the guy who screwed him over is dead then. So why would he want revenge? What's this got to do with the other guy? Hmm. Okay, so a little scan of this. Freeze scavenged what he needed from various prototypes to build himself a super cooled survival suit. Wait a minute. Isn't that the freeze grenade from Arkham City? That kind of looks like the freeze grenade from Arkham City. He's even got the grips on it, look. Did they just reuse models? That's a little cheeky. Alright, so what am I searching for next? Minions, can you see another clue? Am I just grabbing this? No, I mean, should we use that for the cryo drill? I guess not. Okay, okay, oh wait, over here, look. Ah, some kind of... What is this? Extreme pressure built up inside the tank when ice sealed these outtakes. But why didn't it kill Mr. Freeze? It appears that this guard was frozen by the cryo vapors from the resulting explosion. Hmm. Because originally Mr. Freeze fell into like a massive ass, like vat of this stuff. But, but what? I don't know. How is it turning out for him this time in Origins? The evidence suggests the guard was frozen before the tank ruptured, perhaps by Freeze's cryo cannon. But these DNA traces are a match for Victor Freeze. Spatter analysis suggests a blunt impact. Someone assaulted Freeze with a weapon. The cannon was knocked over and fired. When the tank exploded, it released a plume of cryochemicals. The plume enveloped Freeze and the guard, but the shockwave knocked the assailant clear. I need to find that weapon. It may have evidence I can use to identify the assailant. That's rather interesting, so Mr. Freeze is actually developing weapons this time. Hmm. Okay, let's go try and find that gun then. So where would the gun be? The gun should just be over here, correct? Gun, are you in there? Doesn't look like it. Am I supposed to be following the dude? Am I supposed to be following the dude? Let's have a little bit of a scavenge. Might be able to find something else. Okay. Kind of interested to see how Mr. Freeze turned into, well, Mr. Freeze. What do you think? Follow the red trail as you scroll. Oh, we got to scrub the- Ah, okay. Right, minions, look for a little bit of a red line. Ooh, there it is. We found it. I told you it was down there. Oh, hidden in the corner, look. Gun, what have you got to tell us? DNA analysis confirms the gun was used to bludgeon Victor Freeze, and fingerprint analysis shows Ferris Boyle. It was Ferris. 
But why? Why would Ferris do that? I thought he was I thought he was doing things for the good of humanity, like doing charity work and stuff like that. Why would he screw Mr. Freeze over? There must be more to this. Something was wheeled through this fluid, possibly a gurney. The fluid must have frozen almost immediately for these tracks to have been preserved. Wait a minute. A gurney! So that means that's something they could fit a person in. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. So maybe Mr. Freeze didn't want to make weapons, but he was trying to save someone. Someone like Nora. Let's have a little peek. Odd. Freeze was secretly doing research on Huntington's Korea. But this is a cryogenic weapons lab. The test subject was... Nora Freeze. Now I know what happened here. Boyle hired Victor to help advance the secret cryo-weapons program within Gothcorp. In exchange, Boyle agreed to devote Gothcorp resources to finding a cure for Nora's Huntington's. But Boyle was more interested in how Victor had managed to put Nora into cryostasis. When Victor realized that Boyle had no intention of following through on their deal, he decided to do the Huntington's research himself. But Boyle didn't like that. The cryochemical cocktail altered Victor's metabolism, as well as the guards. Boyle escaped ahead of the plume and had the lab quarantined. Victor survived, but he knew that leaving the supercooled lab would kill him. So he built himself a suit and utilized an organic supercoolant to keep his core temperature sub-zero. All this violence. He's just trying to save his dying wife. Exactly, minions! How awesome is that? I mean, it, it, as you can see, Mr. Freeze is so relatable on so many levels. He's, he's so unusual. He isn't a villain. He's basically like an anti-hero in a way. Don't you think? Even though he's trying to basically hurt loads of people to save his wife. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. And so that's how he actually survived. So the security guard also was kind of like Mr. Freeze, but because he warmed up, he ended up dying. So Mr. Freeze had to stay inside this room to stay cold. Okay, let's grab this coolant chisel and get the fudge out of here. The super coolant Victor uses in his suit is the same fluid I need for the cryo drill. Awesome. We should probably get out of here, actually, because my bat nipples are getting a little bit hard. Right, solve the crimes to determine what created Mr. Freeze. Awesome, the origin has been originized, I guess. So, where are we going next? I mean, Alfred, you want to give me some intel or something? Am I fighting somebody? I'm not entirely sure. Either way, means we have to end this one here. We'll find out what happens next time, though. Getting quite excited, so now we need to move onwards to where Penguin was and get to Mr. Freeze and Nora. Can we do this, Shizzle? We'll find out next time. It's been me and the Wild Proxy, though, playing some Arkham Origins Cold Cold Heart, and I will see you guys, girls, means next time. Ciao. <laughs>